now on Tyra. A Tyra social experiment. A panel of haters. I know crackheads look better than her. I feel like you can get an STD just by standing in the same room as her. Meet their victims. They were there hearing every single thing that you had to say about them. How dare you? You guys are really harsh. Plus, I don't really like dark-skinned people. Okay, what color is your skin? I'm brown. Now on Tyra. here and they all admit that they are extremely judgmental. Karen says that she's so judgmental that she refuses to be friends with women who are shorter than her or heavier than her and she really hates it when people blame being overweight on a medical condition. She says they're fat because they're lazy and have an open mouth condition. <laughs> Marie says that she is so mean and judgmental that she gets kicked out of line when she goes to the clubs because she calls other girls bitches and she's tearing their looks apart up and down, up and down constantly. Angel says that she thinks nothing of stopping other women in the street, stopping them in the street and going up to them and telling them that they have on so much makeup that they look like they're going to a clown convention. <laughs> says that she is so judgmental that she got kicked out of a store in the mall for telling the sales girl that was actually helping her that she looked ugly. Oh and Nicole thinks nothing of calling other women ugly, fat, whore, dumb bitch, and stupid slut to their face. So obviously these women are saying that they are very judgmental, harshly judgmental. We did a Tyra Show social experiment to put them to the test. Check this out. This experiment started by the producers taking over this art space and turning it in to a judgment gallery. They hung flat screen TV monitors all on the walls and set them up to show video portraits of some average American women from all over the country. Then they invited a few opinionated women to come in and check out the exhibit. Most of the group agreed about the first portrait they saw. They call those slut buckets. <laughs> to me, she really looks like a bubble head. Yeah, I think she has a sugar daddy. Her main talent is to just beg old yeah. men. <laughs> <laughs> but Nicole seemed to see something she liked. I think she looks hot. I like her outfit. She looks good. The second portrait also got a few positive comments. I think she's like a preacher's daughter. I bet you she's like very well educated. You can tell. But most of the women zeroed in on one particular feature. She looks like Pinocchio. Oh, <laughs> nasty. She looks like a pampered little Jewish princess. If someone hit her in the face, they'd be doing her a favor. By the third portrait, these critics were not holding back anything. I would think that's a man dressed like a woman. She needs a little bit more calories. Definitely eats and goes and throws up. I want to buy a cheeseburger. I know crackheads look better than her. Wow, okay, so that was just the first three video portraits. Check out what the ladies had to say about the next ones. When this group of women continued their tour of the Judgment Gallery, they found the fourth video portrait very compelling. She looks miserable and so unhealthy, and it's disgusting to look at. Can you imagine the smells that come off of her? When you're that big, it's hard for you to fit into a bathtub. Marie was especially critical. I lost all this weight. Like, she should not look like that. It's laziness. And the women's opinion on the fifth portrait was absolutely unanimous. She definitely is a booty call. She looks like she slept with maybe like 100, 200 guys. I feel like you can get an STD just by standing in the same room as her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys are really harsh. Nicole said that you can get an STD by standing in the same room <laughs> as that girl. Wow. What's, what's up with that? I just, like... She just looked dirty to me. I meant that I felt like, you know, it just was like dirty, like she was rubbing her stomach and stuff and like had just the way she presented herself, her body language to me was just 
it, I just thought it was pretty, like, dirty Marie, you and called trashy. The, the, Marie called the plus-size woman in the, uh, the uh, one of the video portraits lazy. Lazy for the fact that, you know, she doesn't have to have, you know, there's one thing to be big and there's one thing to be untastefully big. Don't have all the bat wings hanging out, you know. If you have it, that's fine. You know, not everybody's perfect, not everybody's a Barbie, but nobody wants to see it all. You know, like, mm -hmm. it's just, it was too much. She, you know, she's walking around in flip-flops. It was just really anybody, a lazy Anybody have look. anything to say about this? Stand on up. What do you want to say about this? I think you should know better. Because if you went through that struggle to lose all that weight, you should know better than to be judging other people like that. Because look at me and then look at you. You don't think I should be judging you? You don't you, think I don't have the right to your... say you shouldn't have this? No, because everybody's built differently. My family, full of hips. Me, I don't know where they went. <laughs> but you, you shouldn't pass that judgment on anyone. You should help them. You should help them. I disagree. I don't see your family with their, you know, rules hanging out or, you know, your family looks tastefully put together. They're not walking around looking slutty and trashy and... and the top is being slutty? Uh -huh. What did you say? Flip-flops and tank tops? That wasn't being... a tank top, honey. That was a she um, had strapless. Shot. No, exactly. it wasn't. It was strapless. Regardless, honey, regardless, it's covering this, okay? If she can't cover it anymore, who are you no, no, to no. judge? No, no, no. I wasn't talking. I wasn't talking about the stomach. I wasn't talking about the I wasn't talking about the stomach. My thing was, my concern in the video, and if you would have seen the picture up close, she had cellulite, and it was, like, all just really nasty, and nobody wants to see that. that my that's thing is, just opinion. when you say, that's, that's your exactly, opinion, that's because the majority opinion. of this world, they have cellulite. I do. They have no, that's fine. <laughs> that's, that's fine. fine. It's that's normal. Fine. It's that's really fine. normal. But again, that's my opinion. Okay, we're going to move opinion. on. Up, up next uh, is uh, Karen. Karen, you said in one, the woman in one of the photos, you said that she uh, looked like a man dressed as a woman. Yes, yeah, she did. I mean, she had no curves. If I was to walk up behind her, I would be like, excuse me, sir. You know, I mean, she had no curves, and then she had an attitude like she wanted to be big, bad thug. You know, the, the facial expressions and stuff. And it's either, you know, you're either a, a little boy or you're a man dressed like a woman. Why, why is it that when you see something that is not necessarily pleasing to your eye, does it make you angry? Because that's what I see. It's like, even with you, Marie, it's like, nobody wants to see that. And with you, Karen, it's like, Ugh. it doesn't necessarily make me angry, but... Then what do you call this? No, it, it, <laughs> well, yeah, it does in a way because a lot of things can be helped. You know, some day people sit there and blame it. Oh, I had a bad childhood. Oh, I got a thyroid problem, which is a good excuse. You know, oh, stop crying. If it's something that, that's not right, fix it. It's no, well, very easy to do. There's something uh, uh, that the women on this panel uh, did not know when they were judging the women in the portraits. Check this out. She definitely is a booty call. A junior high school like, dropout. Like an STD just by standing in the like man, so she... Tiger pattern of the bra sticking out. Trailer park turn on her nose. She is disgusting to look at because I feel bad for her. <laughs> you see that? They were there hearing every single thing that you had to say about them. All of those women in those video portraits were watching every single thing. And on top of that, they're here at the tire yeah. Show. Uh, we just watched um, before the break a group of women judge other women who are strangers, complete strangers to them, um, but the women judge them based on their appearance. And they said some really extreme things, some harsh things, some hurtful things, cruel things. Um, but what the ladies that were judging didn't know is that the women that they were judging heard every single word. Um, I know Kyla said something about um, Ashley slept, looks like she slept with 100 to 200 guys. Why did you say that? Because the way that she was dressed, you can see like absolutely everything. You know, like she presented herself like you're, you look like a whore at the time. And if you didn't want to look like that way, you shouldn't have walked out the door that way. That's like pretty harsh. Why, why, what does that make you feel like? I know exactly how I look when I go out. How dare you? Like that about me. You don't know me at all. 
all. I've had a boyfriend for the past year and a half who I've been faithful to. I've never been single. I've had two boyfriends my entire life. Mm -hmm. The committed relationship that I am in now and I plan to be in for a long time. And one boyfriend before that. I do not sleep around. I don't have time. I think, Karen, you said that um, Kayani looked like she smelled because she was too big to fit into a tub. Yeah. I mean, first I need to say, if it don't apply, then you need to let it fly. Okay? This is about first impressions, and that's my first impression of you. So if, if, if that's not how you are, then that's not how you are. <laughs> Ryman like a rapper or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's like